Hello and welcome to Spin Tires. I am the Conflict Nerd and this is the start of a little series. I'm not quite sure how long this will last, but it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to take things slowly. And the reason for that is because Spin Tires is not a fast-paced game. Spin Tires is a driving game. And I think the best way for me to demonstrate how Spin Tires works would be for me to simply show you. And I'm going to begin with the first level here, which as you can see is called Coast. So here we are. Welcome to Spin Tires. This is pretty much it. This is all you'll be seeing. It's a load of driving and it's definitely unique. For those of you that don't know, Spin Tires has been getting developed for quite some time. It was successful on Kickstarter and it was recently released onto Steam. And it's an interesting little beastie. I played a tech demo of this about a year ago. And before purchasing this on Steam, I went and played the tech demo again just to make sure that I enjoyed it as much as I thought I did. And I did. So I bought it on Steam. And it's a lot more now. It, the game is a, a much more complete package today than what it was in the tech demo, as you might imagine, to be perfectly honest. So this is our map. It's quite large. It's got a lot to it. It's not the easiest thing to traverse, but we are going to do so. As you can see, there's a lot of area that we can't actually see right now. And you might also be able to notice that we have an objective over here. We've actually got two of them and a lumber yard. So the first thing we're going to do is head towards the lumber yard, which is 460, 460 meters away. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually playing this with a an Xbox One controller because, to be honest, I enjoy my driving games, but I enjoy them a lot more with a controller. That analog steering thing feels so wonderful in driving games. Everyone says, on P you know, with PC gaming, everyone always says, you should use keyboard and mouse. It is the best way to do things. I kind of disagree with driving games. I don't think... I don't think a straight digital input really works with driving games. It doesn't give you the same feeling. I would really like to pick up a steering wheel, to be honest. It's something I've been considering. I've actually been playing a bit of Euro Truck Simulator 2 recently, which is actually a game I played in the channel quite some time ago. I think I did it twice in my old Conflict Nerd Plays series, which is, as of now, discontinued, but I, pr I am pretty sure I played it twice and really enjoyed it. And I think the first Euro Truck Simulator 2 video I did was one of the first videos on the channel that got a little bit of notice, so I'm considering picking up a steering wheel for my PC so that I can go ahead and enjoy these games with an actual wheel, although this one doesn't actually have steering wheel support just yet. You might be noticing something. The terrain is sort of deforming a little bit. That's kind of one of the the things with this game. We're actually at the lumber yard already. Would you look at that? That is one of the things with this game though. It, it sort of does that and we've just unlocked a C4320. That's a nice looking truck and we're probably gonna need it. So what I'm gonna do, ooh, we appear to be in a pond. Let's get out of that. Let's back up a little bit. We'll just pull over here. And if I go to my advanced options here, like so. You'll notice I am actually using both a keyboard and mouse and an Xbox One controller. I'm using the Xbox One controller for controls on the vehicles, but I'm using the keyboard and mouse for pretty much everything else. Okay, let's go ahead and start this engine. Turn the wheels and away we go. We're going to be getting ourselves... Are we... No, we've got the brakes on, don't we? No, we don't have the brakes on. Why isn't this moving? Let's try putting all-wheel driving on. There we go. We needed our, I guess, six-wheel drive on this. I was going to say four-wheel drive, but that would be sort of a bit of a lie, really. How do I go about getting down there? I Oh, there is a dirt path here. You might notice the camera's a little bit strange. That's sort of the thing with this. It's not a straight-up third-person game. It's a little bit more complicated than that, and I like it for it, to be honest. It's certainly a thing, shall we say. 
I've just taken a little bit of damage to my truck. That's not good. Okay, let's load up some logs. We can't actually get long logs. We can get medium logs, though. Or can I? Can I get them now? No, I can't actually seem to get these medium logs. Okay, I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to try moving the truck a little bit here. The camera angles are a bit weird. I, I enjoy the camera on this, but it could use a little bit of work. I see what they're doing. They're giving you a shaky camera and a shaky UI and stuff like that to kind of... Oh. Oh, boy. Well, that was an accident. So I've recalled the vehicle back to the garage here, and I'm going to just add a couple of things to it. I've already added a frontal exhaust, but I'm going to go ahead and add some big wheels to it so that we might be able to have a little bit more luck when it comes to getting about the place. Let's go ahead and put diff lock on and put all-wheel drive on as well. This does mean that we are going to have to... We're going to have to go all the way up this road again, but... It's actually not that far. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by this being a shorter drive than I thought it would be. While I was playing this before recording, just for a bit of fun to be honest, I find that the maps are a little bit complicated and kind of huge so maybe this first map is a lot smaller than the other ones it might also be an issue that i was driving this kind of truck all the time when i was testing it out so it's entirely likely that the slower trucks kind of made it seem bigger than it is i'm also noticing this truck is taking a lot of damage it's kind of strange that just driving it would get it wrecked but Whatever, who am I to judge, I suppose? Where are we? Oh, we are coming along this road quite nicely. It is going to take us a bit of time to get there, though. I guess I could show you something cool. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Advanced options. Let's activate the crane. Let's extend the anchors first. Position them, and then push them into the ground a little bit. And then, I can use the crane. Yes, yeah, so this is something that is actually really cool, and I kind of really like because I, I actually couldn't tell you why I really like this. It's kind of that inner child in me is like, after all these years, you're finally getting to use a crane in a video game. And I just, I kind of really like it. I'm not quite sure why you can do it. It doesn't really make much sense to me because you don't actually use it to pick up the logs. It might be that you need a, need a vehicle with a crane to actually pick up the logs, but... I, I haven't really tried it. You don't actually use the crane for all that much, so that's a little bit disappointing. You can you can pick stuff up with it, don't get me wrong. It's not as if it's just there to play about with. You can pick stuff up with it. I have picked stuff up with it, and I will at some point pick stuff up with it. But I'm sort of not seeing the point of the crane right now. Although I guess what I could do is try and pick up some logs when we get to the lumber yard, so... Eh, that, that could be something I do. As I said at the beginning of this video, the tech demo for spin tires has been out for a really long time. So there are people who are really, really good at this. And I'm pretty sure that Kickstarter backers actually got access to this long before it came to Steam. They got access to a beta or something like that. So again, there are people who are really, really good at this. And I've been watching some stuff on YouTube to, I'll be honest, see how other people are doing this because I wasn't sure exactly how to approach doing content on this game because I, I, it's kind of, it's one of those things that's just a bit slow, honestly. And I figured I haven't really done a series in a while that just takes things slow. So I figured that's how I'll do it. But yeah, I was looking up to see how people sort of... Oh boy, let's not break the, the thing there. I was looking up to see how people sort of tackle content on this game, and I was pleased to see that my idea of taking things a bit slower is something that other people have done as well, so it's kind of cool that, that is a thing that people seem to be doing with the game. But I also noticed that there are people that get a bit annoyed with YouTubers playing this game that don't know how to play it. There's people who are saying you should go and look up all the documentation, look up all the tutorials, read up on the forums and you'll learn how to play it. And I can sort of see where they're coming from. I mean, I understand that 
if you're a fan of a game and you know how to play it really well, it can get a bit frustrating when someone plays it like an absolute tit. You know, I, I, I get that, you know? It's, it's just one of those things, you don't want to see the game being misrepresented and you don't want to see people sucking because it can be really frustrating. The thing is, I'm one of those people that's going to be sucking and it's probably going to be really frustrating. But that's sort of just how I play games, you know? It's my way of doing things. I like to take it at my own pace and I'm sort of really not a fan of going and reading up in all the documentation. Also, is that a road that I... Could I drive over this? Through this, rather. I'm pretty sure I can drive through the water to a point. I'm just worried. I obviously can't drive through over there because that's a full-on lake. I need to go left here, not out that way. That's another bit of full-on lake. Oh, careful. Careful. There we go. This seems to be going okay. The logs haven't fallen out yet. We still have plenty of traction. So this is going okay. We are making some decent progress. Let's see if... Oh, come on. Come on. You can pull yourself out of there. There you go. Get some grip. Get some traction. What are we stuck on? What have we done? Oh, no, we've got grip. We have grip, I think. Are we pulling ourselves out? We seem to be. Yeah, we seem to be all right. At least, yeah. No, we are pretty much good. We're back on the road here, which is, oh, careful, careful. Fantastic news, there we go. Okay, we, we've covered so little ground. I've just seen that, we've covered so little ground. I do want to get into that cloaking area, though, and see if I can uncover it, because there is a way to do that. There's basically a big, a big swirling black vortex in the middle of the cloaking areas, or the cloaked areas, that if you get to it, in the same way that a vehicle will unlock, if you get near it, it will unlock that area on the map, and you'll actually be able to see it. So it's going to be a matter of locating that thing and seeing, seeing if I can even get near it in this. I mean, hauling a, lo uh, a load of cargo, a load of logs, that's not going to make navigating a forest easy, and I think we're stuck. I think we might be stuck. Or can we pull out of this? No, I think we've dug ourselves into a bit of a hole here, unless I can sort of pull us out a little bit, which seems to sort of be happening. Oh, we've got a bit of traction. We've got a bit of traction. Just swing the wheels. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. If I go much further, I'm going to tip this. That trailer's going to... No, actually. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Careful. Careful. I think if I can pull it over, if I can pull it over that hill, we're okay. I think we're okay. Eee, I'm not liking how that trailer is leaning. I am not liking that. But I think it might be sorted. Are we in the cloaked area? We are, but we're nowhere near... The middle of it. Are we? St we're stuck again. Have we sank in on that side now? Yeah. Of course we have. Let's see if we can swing these wheels around a little bit. I could fix this really easily with the crane, but I don't really want to do that just yet until I know I'm definitely stuck. Yeah, I'm definitely stuck. I'm definitely stuck here. Okay. Time to switch to the crane. Let's go ahead and bring it up and over. And over and there we go. Not entirely sure how much traction that's going to give, but hopefully enough. I need to actually, oh no, okay. We need to be very careful here. There we go, that's the back end pushed up, but what we need is the traction at the front. So let's try and bring this round. There we go. Okay, and we... We let go of the crane, get out of the advanced options, and come on, come on, get yourself out of that hole, come on. I think that front tire might be okay if we let go of the crane, but I'm a little bit worried that letting go of the crane is going to cause some problems. Restore the crane, yeesh, oof, alright, okay, easy. Are we alright? No, we're tipping. We are... Oh, okay. Oh, boy. 
I don't think we're going to get out of this one. Now, something I can do is I could... Oh, God. Yeah, we're about to go. We are about to lose this entire cargo if I keep pushing it any further. So, I think what I will try... Or what I will, will do, as opposed to trying, is use the crane to right us. So that we are at least holding ourselves... Okay... This crane is sort of... We're a bit heavy. But if I use the crane to hold us up like that... That's going to sort of support us. I know this is kind of cheating. But what you'll notice is there's actually winch points on the truck here. And what that means is I'm going to have to go into the map. And I'm going to have to go... I'll probably have to get the other truck, actually, because I doubt this little car is going to be strong enough to do it. I'm going to have to go get this truck, and I'm probably going to have to winch that truck out of there. I'll try it with the car, actually. I think that seems like a relatively reasonable idea. So, we're going to have to get this, and we're going to have to figure out exactly where that truck went. What way are we facing right now? So, we need to go that way. So, I guess through those trees or through the water... I guess we could technically go... That's, oh, we need to start the engine. I guess we could technically go up this way. But I'm just going to go back and... Well, hold on. Yeah, we could just... We could sort of just go this way. I think. This little vehicle should be able to fit through these trees without much problem. Much of a problem, rather. Uh, yeah, just sort of... Slip down to the right here. Okay. There we go. I think we are now actually on a road. Sort of. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be interesting. De oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is, this is really bad. 